<laughs> oh. <laughs> Can you guess what it is yet, Trev? I'm not sure. Hang on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Have another go. Go on. Oh. <laughs> Can you guess what it is yet, Trev? <laughs> oh, God, the good ones are the, the old ones are the best ones, aren't they? <laughs> are we on, Trev? Are we on? Are we on? Are we in? Oh, what's that? Are we, are we, are we there? Oh, all freestyle today, aren't you? Look, all hands off. No, no, um, tripod today, Trev. Hello, or, or, or stative, as we say or in stative, England. As we say in Norland. Uh, hello, everyone, and welcome to a very unusual edition of Trev. Why are we filming outside? Because it's spring. It's <laughs> Hang on, I've just got to zoom out. <laughs> spring in Norland. <laughs> come back, come back to me, back to me, back to me. Listen, why have I'm you really got Farmer Giles? Uh, listen, because uh, I'm taking my horse out after this. Uh, listen, I. <laughs> I wanted to film inside everyone because it's about one degree, it is miserable, grey, cold, awful weather, but Trev, no, 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 he wanted to come outside. Listen, that's not why we're here. Why are we here, Trev? Why we're here is actually because, you know we go on about beer a lot, you, you and me, Trev, yeah? Well, you know, we've done quite a lot, actually, I think, in the last sort of year and a half. It's a year and a half of the blog, haven't we? We've tried lots of different types of beers. You know, we've been to beer festivals, uh, blind tastings, Facebook challenges, yada, da 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 yeah? Mm -hmm. What haven't we done? We haven't brewed ourselves. Correct. So I thought, what would be a good idea if you and me, Trev, decided to brew some beers? Because you know, as well as I do, that I believe that home brewers are the coolest motherfuckers on the planet. You've got to bleep that bit out, yeah? Bleep. Um, so uh, I want to become part of that gang. What, what do you think? So, as long as don't have to go around my house. No, we have to put it around your house. No, I don't want to. My I haven't got my... in my kitchen. You know when you see these films with, with blokes that have got V8 engines on their kitchen table? Oh, you're like that, is it? Well, except it's well, the computer, know, computer been, parts. I wouldn't know. I've never been invited around your house, Trev. Uh, anyway, look, what we'll sort that, that's detail, and we'll sort that out later. But basically, what I've done is, I've been quite clever, actually, Trev, and I've got hold of the wonderful chaps and chapesses at Tuscana Arbeer, who actually run a website called Cooper's Hembrugning.se. Trev, can you link that up? Uh, and basically, these are the guys that bring in the Cooper's um, uh, uh, brewing kits. Um, and I said to them, look, guys, um, wouldn't it be a good idea, wouldn't it be fun if Trev and I can actually brew a beer together, if you could send us one of these, and, uh, you know, we'll film our, our adventure and see what, you know, see, see how we get on, yeah? Bill and Ted. <laughs> yeah, like Bill and Ted's great beer adventure, yeah? Uh, and not only did they agree to it, which was very kind of them, sent, 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 uh, sent us a box here, but they also actually sent us the first ever Cooper's DIY beer kit. Now this is an upgrade of the microbrew kit. Um, this is the only one of its kind in Scandinavia right now, Trev. Cool. You and me. It's here, in Umeå. Unbelievable. The only one of its kind. It's an upgrade. There's some slightly different features to it. Um, com compared to the to, to the uh, to the older brew kit, um, and I will go through. I think what we we'll do for this first episode, what we're going to do, open the box. We're just going to take a look inside and see what's in there. Okay. What, when was the first time you brewed, like personally, like as a nipper oh, or something? Years ago. It was years ago. It was back in England. Uh, it was. It would have been about 15, 20 years ago. Well, the it first time, first time I did it, tasted I, awful. I was I was about seventeen, which makes it um, about nineteen seventy-five or something like that, right? And I've got to zoom in on that controversy arrive. What's that all about? Anyway, and yeah. I remember it used to absolutely stink the ass out. What's it like these days? Is it much more no, clinical no, or I what? Now, nowadays, Trev, because that was about 100 years ago, wasn't it? It was a long time ago. Uh, nowadays, of course, it's all very, very um, neat and tidy and extremely, uh, you know, extremely well done. And the reason, actually, that I wanted to brew this way is because, you know, we talk about brewing a lot, of home brewing, and I do believe if you really want to get behind beer, if you really want to understand what's going on behind the scenes of beer, you've got to brew it. It's as simple as that, yeah? Because by brewing it, you actually, you know, you learn the processes. And in doing that, you'll appreciate beer more. That's kind of where I'm coming from. So what we're going to do, Trevor, is we're not just going to brew one type of beer, or in one way, right? This is called extract brewing, okay? Basically, it's beer in a can, okay? Uh, so this is really the, kind of like the simplest form. Come and have a look, so you see what's inside. I'm going to go through each individual bit in a minute. But this is basically the kit that you see here. Um, but what's so good about this, okay, I mean, I know there's a lot of home brewing purists that are going to turn their nose up at this, okay, fair enough. I mean, this isn't brew dog, we haven't, yeah, you've got to start style. somewhere, my name is Ingrid, but you've got to start somewhere, okay, and what's so good about these sorts of kits is that you get basically everything, and you can use this again and again and again and again, and you can actually even sort of adapt it, 
uh, and, you know, and, and, and upgrade little bits of it. So it's a really good starting point, yeah? So we're going to do this. This is extract brewing. We well, then, after that, Trev, if it goes well, which it will, of course, yeah, because it's you and me brewing beer, can't go wrong, can it? Mm. Cold, Trev. Uh, we're going to do an all grain uh, brew, okay? We're going to do an all grain brew. And then after that, Trev, we've got some gloves here. Never mind, you can take me if you like. Can I put some gloves on? Um, and after that, Trev, you and me, we're going to go to a proper brewery. We're going to brew a beer there, yeah? Okay, yeah. cool. I didn't if know I that bit. Find one. If someone will come and let us play in it, uh, we'll go and actually... Well, I was open brew dogs. I've never been up there. Oh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. So, so that's it. We're going to try, you know, three different types of brewing. We're going to start off with this one. Okay, now let's uh, crash into this because we haven't got much more time. Even YouTube. I know they love us, but they're not going to let us talk forever. Okay, so actually, <laughs> I can't use these, Trev. Um, let's have a little look at the bottle. Now, first of all, um, I've got a little list of... Now, this is the first time I've looked through all this. So, basically, what you get... Uh, is uh, a DIY beer kits content list. So let's go through this. Um, a lid. Very important. This is the fermenting vessel, of course. This is a big part of it. Um, let's start off. First thing you get, I'm going to brew a lager. This is what comes with the kit, I think, uh, uh, as standard, as it were. Uh, and this is basically beer in a can. Everything's in there. This is the malt extract, the hops are in there, everything is all good to go and basically I don't know if you can see that but at the top of the in, in the lid there you've actually got the yeast which obviously kick starts the whole process uh, and, and gives us what we're really after which is obviously carbon or carbon dioxide bubbles uh, and alcohol which some of us are obviously fairly interested in all right so that's the first thing there very very easy what else have we got here uh, we've got um, some brew enhancer one pack of that there we go. Looks oh, like blimey, it looks a bit Colombian, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, it? It does, but it is actually a brew enhancer for a creamier head with enhanced body and mouthfeel. Sugar, then? Huh? Yeah, basically that's what it is. It's actually giving it a little bit of a kick, a little bit of fizz there, okay? Giving the beer a little bit of body. Uh, so that's pretty useful, interesting. What else have we got here? Okay, next thing out are carbonation drops. Oh, sweeties. No, they're not sweeties, Trev. I recommend that you pop one of these in your mouth. Because I mean, it'll basically foam up, and you'll probably shoot up into the sky. Uh, but basically, I think what happens here is that you drop one of these into each individual bottle, um, and basically, it's almost like a primer in a way, and it and it and it, and it, and it adds a little bit of um, sort of gas and carbonation um, as the beer is fermenting. Um, we've got all sorts of little bits and pieces. Um, what have we got here? Well, this is basically a, a tap here. Um, and uh, yeah, this is, this is a tap, a marker pen, of course, very useful. Uh, let's take this out so that you can see the uh, fermenting vessel itself. Now, here's one of the major differences between this new kit, the DIY kit, okay, and the old one. For a start, the plastic's clear, okay, so you'll actually be able to see the beer fermenting in the, in the vessel. The la last one was kind of this opaque white, so you couldn't actually see all the magic going on. Here you'll be able to see it. That's why you obviously put your uh, tap there, okay, so that you can, you know, you can obviously drain that a little bit later on. It's full, as you can see, of bottles. I'm not quite sure how many bottles, Trev. Let's have a little look at the list, it will tell us. Uh, we've got 30 740ml bottles, which is pretty useful. Quite 30 like 740, so how many, how many, does that cover that then? Um, 23 litres. Yeah, so, that's, so that gives you yeah. 23 litres, okay, yeah? Okay, good. Mm. And basically, this is pretty useful size, actually, because, of course, the smaller the bottles, the more you have to fill. You know, it's the more the, the more processed, the more effort. I actually quite like the size of that, of course. And they're totally recyclable, of course. So we've got those. Um, what else have we got? Uh, we've got bottle tops, okay, which is obviously fairly useful. I think the rest of it is pretty much... Um, I'm going to put that down there for a second, Trev. It's pretty much standard stuff. More bottles. Oh, a spoon. You can a never spoon. go wrong. Which is, and I know you like to stir. I like to stir things up, don't I, Trev? Hey? Uh, but anyway, so that's that. Very useful. Big spoon. Oh, uh, there are some uh, a brewer's log. It's like Starship. Enterprise, okay. All right, that's a brewer's log and Trev. Uh, uh, apart from it being absolutely nothing like Starship Enterprise. Well, it's, it's nothing like it, really. Um, and, <laughs> and a DVD, okay. Ooh, an, an instructional DVD. Are you, the type of, are you the type of guy that reads instructions before you start? I sit on the loose, I get a ring around my bum reading the instructions. Okay, that's good to know. I don't think it's really good to know, but anyway, that's good to know. I'm the other, I just go crashing straight into it. And, 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 like and you'll muck up five, more than I will before you get there. Yeah, yeah, but I have fun doing it. I can't stand instructions. 
Um, I've, I've ruined so many pieces of IKEA furniture. <laughs> Basically, I just go ahead and do it. Because um, you okay. didn't put the widget in the crotchet. Uh, oh, here's another major difference cool. between this kit and the old one, right? Now, this is called a Krause and collar. Okay. And basically, this sits somehow on top of the on top of the um, on top of the vessel this time. Uh, and basically, what that means is that let me come. This is the top, the absolute top of the vessel, right? It sits on top here. And what this what, doesn't have an airlock. It's very very common. You'll see in homebrew kits to have a little airlock here that you put in, which you fill with water, and that obviously uh, allows the carbon dioxide, the gases that are produced during the fermentation process to escape. But in this case, we don't need one. So that's a very, very big difference. A lot of people will ask, where's the hole for the airlock? Well, you don't need one in this, in this particular model. Okay. Uh, what else have we got, Trev? We've got the pramium shot, I know that. Huh? I don't know if that's upside down or not. I haven't looked at the instructions. We've got the pramium shot, does that matter? They won't like recognize your kids from the pramium. No, no, I wouldn't have thought so. Here. Across the internet. Here, look. Uh, what else have we got, Trev? Uh, we've got a filling. I think this is a filling um, uh, thing. Uh, filling is that the technical term? Yeah, I'm getting a bit technical with you now, Trev. Um, and this is a uh, something else. Um, and um, that to oh, me looks like a flotation device. Yeah, this is this is no, this isn't for going fishing. No, uh, temperature uh, gauge here, uh, which I presume you stick onto the side of the uh, fermentation vessel. It's important, obviously, that you uh, try and maintain a steady temperature, but we'll tell you all about that on brew day. Um, this is called a hydrometer, okay? And again, I'm not gonna go into the technical specifications right now. It's all about density, density and displacement. Absolutely, Archimedes. Um, so anyway, basically, it is a, it's a way of measuring specific gravity in a liquid, okay? And you use it to actually uh, get the, the, good morning, sir. My neighbours just walked by. Uh, it's, it's basically to uh, measure the uh, original gravity and the final gravity of your beer. Uh, but I tell you, we'll come back to that on brew day because what we're going to do now is I just wanted to give you a little sort of walk around, a little walk through the brew kit. We've done that now. And what we're going to do is in the next couple of week or so, Trev, you and I, we're going to spend a very happy morning together <clears throat> with the brew kit and we're actually going to brew the beer, okay? That's going to be another episode. And then we're going to wait for the four weeks or whatever it takes. Actually, it's not four weeks. It's, it's, I think it's 10 days, seven or 10 days. I haven't read the instructions. Uh, but when we do, um, we're going to come back and we're going to uh, bottle the beer and then we're going to have another episode where we actually taste it and give it a five, yeah? Be interesting, Trev. What do you think? Sounds like a lot of work to me. Can't we just go down the ball log? <laughs> Trev, this is home brewing, okay? This is this is it. This is where the rubber meets the road. This is the real stuff. You like the expression? I do like it. I use it a lot. But listen, uh, so that's what we're going to do. Now, you here's, tickets. here's the other thing. Here's the other thing. Trev, zoom out, zoom out. No, I'm where are you? Where are you? You're really close. Kate, You're close. It's Kate, uncomfortable. It's, Kate, it's, it's my Kate. personal space. It's, I can't wait to see Kate. All right, now listen. Uh, you're looking forward to that, aren't you? I am. Trev does love, he loves a good royal wedding. Um, uh, now listen, here's what makes it even extra exciting. Where's my notes? Where's my notes? Oh yeah, yeah. Because this is good. Because not only have the kind people at Tuscana um, or Cooper's Hembrigning Punktessir um, sent us this kit, but they've also said to us that um, if, uh, if we put it on the blog, which we have, uh, that uh, Beer Sweden readers or, or viewers what, 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 what is it we do, Jeff? From my point of view, it's viewers, obviously. Okay. From your point of view, it's, it's readers. It's everything, isn't it? Mm. Okay. Uh, anyone that's interested in buying one of these kits, now this is the first one in, in, in Scandinavia, but they're actually coming into stock, I think it's on the 8th of May, okay? Roughly a month's time from now. But by the end of this month, April, you'll be able to place an order. If you want to buy one of these kits, and we'll, we'll give you full details of that a little bit later on, perhaps when we're brewing the beer. Well, if you want to buy one of these kits, actually, if you put the name Beer Sweden on your order, right, online, you can go in there and you can actually put a little comment, there's a little comment box or something, you can put the, the word Beer Sweden in there. Uh, the very nice chaps at Toscana will actually give you one packet of light, dry malt, okay, um, which is worth about 50 crowns, absolutely free, just because it's Beer Sweden. How about that? Nice one. Huh? I'm pleased with that. I really chuffed with that. Well done, guys. Thanks very much for doing that. Um, so there we go. That's it. That was a walkthrough of the new uh, Cooper's DIY beer kit. Uh, we'll be back soon to actually brew the beer um, and um, in Trevor's kitchen. And I'm looking forward to that. Trevor. And in a couple of days, we're going down to? Uh, we're going down to Lynn Sherping, aren't we? We're going to go, go down there and start mucking around down there. And normally, at this point, I say cheers and beers. I haven't got anything to actually... Uh, Oh, yeah, there's a beer on the, there's there's beer, an old beer on the No, not doing that one. Anyway, so until next time, everyone.
Cheers and beers. He gets himself up onto one elbow and he turns to his mates who are gathered round and he says, Watch me wallabies feed, mate. Watch me wallabies feed. They're a dangerous breed, mate. So watch me wallabies feed all together now. Tie me kangaroo down, sport. Tie me kangaroo down. Tie me kangaroo down, sport. Tie me kangaroo down.